Well, Sturgeon Bay police are still looking for a young woman who survived an incredibly close call last week on the city's downtown bridge. Yeah, some new information today about why it may have happened. You uh, can see the woman's car stuck on the Oregon Maple Street Bridge Thursday. Police say the bridge tender put the bridge up for a couple of minutes while the car was still between the gates. Police say the young woman drove away uninjured, but they want to find her and talk with her. Today, the bridge tender's boss explained to Lou Hillman more about what went wrong in this Fox 11 follow-up. It's a picture you have to see to believe. Even seeing it, some might think it's a hoax. But it's not. It was shot by Dustin Fritch of Sturgeon Bay. Last Thursday evening, a young woman found herself in a terrifying ordeal on Sturgeon Bay's downtown bridge. Authorities say the bridge tender opened the bridge to almost a 30-degree angle with her car still stuck on one of the lifts. Somehow, uh, due to human error, he didn't see this situation. John Kologi is Door County's highway commissioner. He says witnesses have told him the young woman panicked when she realized her car was caught between the gates. And she backed up relatively quickly and onto the lift section. She was in a safe area and she backed off of that safe section onto the lift section uh, and then realized where she was and then stopped. Kologi says the operator still never should have lifted the bridge. There are five video monitors in the tender's booth showing the bridge from a number of angles. But he's very upset about it. He's very concerned. Uh, he's a long tenured employee with the department, a very good employee. So we're concerned about him as well. Highway officials are not releasing the operator's name, but do say he's a 17 year employee of the department. They would not comment, however, whether he's facing any disciplinary action for the incident. When the bridge finally did come back down, the operator spoke briefly with the young woman. She then just drove away. And without finding this young woman, authorities may never know just exactly what happened. DOT security cameras on the bridge malfunctioned that night, so there is no video recording of the incident. Sturgeon Bay police are still trying to determine a license plate on the car. An enhanced photo shows the vehicle is likely from Wisconsin. We're going to do some things technology related with the, uh, uh, the photo to try to clean it up so we can read the license plate. Police say they just want to ask this woman some questions to make sure a close call like this never happens again. In Sturgeon Bay, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. Police also offered a couple of possibilities about why the woman has not come forward. They say the woman may have been a tourist, may not even know her story has made the news, or she may be just too embarrassed to come forward.